actual camera, but I didn't think about it. <laughs> it won't bother me if you're in the shot. <laughs> you don't have to walk around. It's just, this is very interesting. Well, as y'all have noticed, we're uh, messing with drones today. I'm here with Helio. They make uh, drones that you can use to uh, apply herbicides and pesticides, whatever you need on your crops. This is the AG-16, AG-22, and AG-10. I'm here with the CEO of company, Arthur. This Hi, is everyone. Arthur. I am the CEO and one of the co-founders of Helio. We're based here in the Houston, Texas area, actually just south of it, Richmond, Texas. And uh, yeah, we design and offer spray drones. Uh, simply put, we're trying to create an autonomous system for farmers to do farming more precisely, uh, more effectively in terms of cost and time and labor management wise. Um, so that's the whole spiel. We'll get some more shots of it uh, flying around and spraying. It's been really interesting to see because I, at first I was imagining like drones like I have, like handheld ones, but these are massive. Like this one's probably every bit of six foot across. And when it takes off, it literally sounds like a helicopter. So it's really cool. We're going to get some shots of them going and uh, we'll, we'll end off with uh, just kind of showing what goes on. five acres how would one go about changing the batteries and reloading the tanks to go hit another five acres sure so it's real easy the ag 122 is designed for maximum efficiency so you just come in here literally just grab the tanks and pull them out just like that and then you can pull the batteries out with these handles just like that sweet and then you'd pop in new tanks boom pop in new battery like this. Wow, that's pretty efficient. I like that. So Dan, you can actually change out these nozzles. Um, any standard T-Jet nozzle tip you can yeah. put in here to change your particle size. And also you can choose any spray rate that you want to hit in the AgriSol software. Okay, that's pretty neat. So you don't have to do anything on the actual machine itself. It's all in the software and you just go to your computer and type in you know, 1.5 gallons per acre or whatever, and that's it, and you're good to go. Yeah, that's right, it's easy as that. You can type in, you know, anywhere from one to 20 gallons an acre, just click go. Yeah, that's pretty interesting. So Dan, like you'd want, this thing is basically completely autonomous. Yeah. You, you're not really a pilot, you're more like a mission control operator, right? Think like NASA there Mission Control Center. 
what you're doing is you're defining areas or polygons for these things to go spray. So once you have that area, which you could either import or draw yourself, you're defining the height you want to spray at, the speed you want to move at, the dosage you want to apply per, per acre or per hectare, and then you're clicking go and it's going and, and handling that all by itself. Yeah. So you don't even, you just click in what you want on your field or whatever and hit take off and it does it all for you and you just sit here and crack a cold one or something. Exactly. You know? Drink some coffee. Coffee, relax. there we go. Yeah, we'll say coffee. There we go. Yeah, it doesn't yeah. take much time. I mean, we were just a couple minutes out there getting the drone set up, pulling up the tanks again, a couple minutes right here. You could have done this at home yeah. in the air conditioning. That, that's what a lot of people do. So this takes a minute, put on the drone. Now you want to fly it, click and hold arm. That's kind of like what you're doing on the controller to yeah. idle the motors up and click take off. And from here, that's all we did. We're two clicks. Now the drone's going. Wow. And you can monitor while it's flying. You can monitor its spray rate, how many gallons it's sprayed, how many acres it's covered, uh -huh. time in the air, battery voltage, speed, altitude, all that stuff. Wow. And from here, this work gets boring. Yeah, you just sit here and watch. Yeah. That's not bad. Just relax and let it do its thing. So now let's pretend that we had just sprayed, I don't know, four or five acres, you know, depending on the drone. Um, it's going to come back home and land. Mm -hmm. So you can see here where this dashed line is going to oh, represent what you've already yeah. sprayed. Uh -huh. So now the drone, you know, it's out of fluid, out of battery, or it just hit a pre-prescribed number of acres. It comes mm -hmm. back home, it land, lands all autonomously. Now, while you're on the ground, changing the batteries, filling the tank, all you got to do, you don't have Hold to on. connect, disconnect, mm -hmm. nothing like that. You just tell it to take off again. Wow. So you're not messing with the mission anymore. And this could be 100 acres, you know, 200 acres. Mm -hmm. You just comes down, you, you know, top it off, send it back out. And now it's just on its way again. Wow. So you can see how, you know, all that effort goes into the pre-mission planning. Yeah. And then now, if you've taken your time, you've done it right, just relax. It's got to wait. Yeah. That is real handy. And so I guess this big line here is just it returning home. That's its plan to come back once right. it's done. Okay, I, I noticed that when we were messing around with it before, and I was, I was curious. Yeah, just kind of letting you know where it's going to Yeah. yeah. This is just its path that it's going to yeah. come back And now, at any point, let's say you found something, I don't know, a, a school bus or something pulls up under your land point there. You can pause this drone, click this big red really? pause button. And now it's a similar thing as, as if it's coming back, but you stop it's it at same. any time. Uh -huh. And now you can actually click and fly it around from the computer like this. Really? So this is how, you know, the training can be a lot easier for people. You mm -hmm. know, you don't have to learn to be a really skilled yeah. controller pilot because you can fly it around just with a couple clicks. Right. And, you know, from this aerial view from the map, you can really see kind of where, where the tree lines are, where safe places to fly to fly it around wherever you want and then you know okay that's a that's a good place to land mm -hmm. you bring down the land all from wow. the computer okay yeah. yeah so you don't even have to because i would think it'd take quite a bit of training to try to get everybody lined up to where you can fly it because even right. for me it's kind of hard and i've been flying for a bit now so right that's yeah. interesting yeah and this is I mean, this is how we get a lot more people using it a lot easier and that you know those features right there they seem small but those are really big differentiators between how Helios system works and how really any other spray drone company works. Right. Is this kind of separation from the controller. You know, it's there, has all the functionality that you need, mm -hmm. um, but we allow you to do all the same stuff through the computer. Yes. And so it just opens things up. It's for pretty simple. Right. I mean, it's complicated, but you, you can understand it pretty easily and know what you're doing, especially like in the world of, of, of green or like the word like guidance on your tractor right, kind of right. Thing. Yeah. like everybody knows how to work your computer and monitoring the machine mm -hmm. and so this is basically the same dynamic just mm -hmm. a little bit different mm -hmm. so you can probably figure it out easily and since we write all the software ourselves you know we spend a lot of time going to u.s ag shows mm -hmm. and things like that familiarizing ourselves with what the American farmer is used to in softwares and yeah. you know moving these shapes around the types of files that they already have for their fields. You know we spend a lot of time because obviously we make these in America. Yeah. You know, directing where our software is going towards that to make yeah. it as easy as possible for those U.S. farmers. I see. You know, we want it to look, you know, 
be as easy to use as my John Deere yeah. for, for people and even kind of integrate with, with what they do. Yeah. Hey guys, Farmer Dan here. Well, obviously I'm back home, uh, but first and foremost, I want to thank Helio for sending me over there uh, to look at their facility, to meet those really cool people and uh, to see their drones. Those things are massive. Uh, Y'all saw on the first pit of the video, uh, the thing taking off and it literally sounds like a helicopter. It was, it, it blew me away. I was amazed by how powerful and how big they were, you know, compared to my little DJI uh, drone. I think there's something to, to be said about drones in agriculture. Uh, of course, right now they are usable and applicable, but there's not many drones out there that'll spray for you. And that's what Helio has brought to agriculture. I thought it was very interesting. It's very usable for agriculture as a whole. I think a, for me, seeing a guy that produces like uh, vegetables or or, uh, or fruits, I think it'd be very useful because you don't want to go driving over your uh, crop with a with a ground rig. And when you compare the prices of having a spray plane do your work rather than a drone, it almost, I mean, I don't know for sure, but I would have, I would imagine that it'd be cheaper to have a drone itself. So I thought that was really interesting. Um, if y'all want to learn more about the drones, hook up with Helio, uh, follow them on Instagram or, uh, give them, give them a subscribe, subscribe, give them a sub. There we go. Uh, on YouTube and, and talk to them. They're very nice people, very friendly. Of course they're Texans. So that makes them a hundred percent better than anything else. And, uh, yeah, I'll, I just want to thank him for letting me come down and uh, seeing what they've got going on. And I hope that y'all enjoyed the video. This is Farmer Dan signing out for now.